I'd like to call the April 19th, 2016 meeting of the Board of Zoning Appeals to order. Please join us in the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to start by introducing our board members, uh, starting to my left. Christopher Bluer. I'm Todd Chernick. Walt Recook. Kim Keller. And uh, we will have another board member joining us momentarily. That is uh, Sumit Shaw. The Board of Zoning Appeals is a quasi-legal board comprised on, of resident volunteers of the City of Milton. The board is charged with hearing requests for variances from the standards of the zoning ordinance in appeals of administrative determination. With regard to decisions on primary variances, which we'll be hearing tonight, the board's basis for a decision is provided by these four considerations. A, relief if granted would not offend the spirit or intent of the ordinance, and B, there are such extraordinary and exceptional situations or conditions pertaining to the particular piece of property that the literal or strict application of the ordinance would create an unnecessary hardship due to size, shape, or topography, or other extraordinary and exceptional situations or conditions not caused by the variance applicant. And C, relief if granted would not cause a substantial detriment to the public good and surrounding properties. And D, that, that the public safety, health, and welfare are secured and that substantial justice is done. I'd like to uh, seek a motion to approve the meeting agenda as, as published. And prior to seeking that motion, I, I'd actually like to make a motion uh, to amend our uh, meeting agenda uh, and striking number eight from uh, tonight's uh, agenda, which is election of new officers in light of the fact that we have so many absences tonight. Do I, have, do I hear a second? I'll I'll second. Sure. Before you consider that, um, I guess I'd like to get a motion to postpone it to the next meeting rather than just simply strike, simply strike. Uh, that's, that's fair. Um, well, in, it, it, can we have discussion? Certainly. Is there, because the motion has been seconded and then I can retract? Sure. Um, I think it's important to, uh, so we've, we've had uh, attendance issues um, in trying to get everyone's input, but I think it's also important to understand, and I, and I don't, I don't care uh, what role I necessarily serve here or for that matter, but we are in the midst of a comprehensive uh, plan for the city of Milton, which is presented to council here in September. And as part of that role, uh, as chairperson, I am, uh, I've been appointed to that, that committee. So, you know, we could, I think that just needs to be considered whether or not we just continue to postpone month after month or if we just push off until a later date, I'll leave it to the board. Um, what, what, is there any feedback regarding that? I mean, if anybody wants to attend the comprehensive plan, they can. I did, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think from that standpoint, I think that it's a not a big deal. Okay. Not, not not a big <coughs> not, not a big deal per se. I mean, my we have to at some point we have to hold elections and we just have to do it whenever. It's the, the most opportune time, and we may find that there are only six of seven of us here, and if it is, it is what it is. But I think at some point, okay, that's fair. With, um, with, in short, within a month or two, if we can't, able, if we're not able to get all seven, then we just need to move forward with what we have. That's, okay. my, that's my suggestion. But is there any other discussion? So I, I will withdraw my motion and restate. I withdraw um, my second. That I would uh, move to. Amend uh, agenda item number eight to postpone the election of new officers into our next scheduled Board of Zoning meeting. I'll second. We have a second. Any discussion? So a motion and a second to postpone the election of officers, item number eight, until our next scheduled meeting. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It passed unanimous. So now uh, we'll need a motion to approve the agenda as amended. I make a motion that we approve the April 19th, 2016, I'm sorry, uh, 20, uh, 2019 
2016. 16. I, I am being dyslexic. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion that we approve the April 19th, 2016 uh, agenda uh, as presented and amended. I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passed unanimous. Um, we'll next move to item number four on our agenda, which is uh, approval of the March meeting minutes. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion for approval of the March mi uh, meeting minutes. I'll second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of uh, approving the March meeting minutes say aye. 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 Opposed? I need to abstain. And we have one abstention. The motion passes uh, with four voting in favor. Consideration of primary variances, item number five. Um, I'll call B16-004, 235 Buckland Run. Could staff please present. Okay. Shall match those of the existing house. 
The final design shall be approved by the city architect prior to the issuance of the building permit. Staff recommends approval with conditions of this request. And I also have a letter of support from um, the HOA president. And I believe that concludes this uh, staff presentation. Are there any questions of staff? Walt? Angela, um, on the plan that's attached to this, it does not show the garage. At least if it does, I'm not aware of where this attached garage is. Do they? Is there a plan that shows what they're asking for? Site plan? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's, it's the square box to the left of the house. So it's not attached. It's a detached. It's detached, detached. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the 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 verbiage that was used by the applicant said attached. That's what confused me. Or is it just saying that there's other houses with detached? I'm oh, sorry, what is this? Okay, that? I'm sorry. Maybe I misread it. So that's detached. There's other detached garages. Okay. Large with their wealth. Okay, thank you. Um, has staff received any drawings or renderings of uh, the proposed structure? Um, no, the last time I talked to the contractor about that, they had not um, developed any. Um, and I, I think I suggested they have something to show the board, but I haven't seen. Okay. okay, in light of that, and hopefully the applicant has something for us to understand a little bit more conceptually what they're trying to do, but in light of what we know now, the proposed condition is to, using the term that the addition shall match. Is that a comfortable term for the city? Um, by match, I mean... Okay, so and you've you outlined that pitch, materials, mm -hmm. color. I mean, it, would would you go as far then to say as as design um, should match? I, I, I mean, to me that was an assumption, but yes. If if the applicant did not require a variance, would that garage have to go in front of DRV? No. Okay. Okay. And, and again, I guess I got one more question on, on the matching. I guess. I always wonder, you know, we had another applicant that came in that had a very hard time matching water table brick, and if I remember, that's why they went with rock, and they had some other issues with matching and matching this and matching that, and, and I think eventually we just said, well, we'll, we'll just approve it. But uh, I just want to make sure we, we sometimes... Yeah, I don't think there's anything, you know, difficult about this one. I think the brick is like a light color. Um, if nothing else can be all siding, you know, that's, that's about as easy as it is. Okay. Just wanted to address that up front and give the applicant a chance to comment if they feel uh, fit. Any other questions of staff? Um, okay. With that, then I'd like to call the applicant to uh, present their application and, and please uh, understand you have 10 minutes to do so. I'm 
name's Jeffrey Jones. I'm a contractor, and my client is my clients are Bob and Cheryl O'Donnell that own 235 Buffalo Road. Um, as, as growing needs of their family, traditional cars, they, they have a need for more garage space because their car has their currently their current home has a two car garage. Um, Providence Lake subdivision has approximately 90 homes, which more than half of those homes have three cars or more garage space in the in the subdivision. Um, the proximity to the house is is as close as we feel as, as rational with the topography that we have. And also the side elevation of that house has a second story with windows and I can provide photographs if that would be more helpful for you uh, to attach to the garage would mean uh, closing egress to bedrooms and, and other issues um, along with that line. Um, there are other detached garages within the community. I think I counted, I wrote them counted 14 uh, detached garages that have been built within the community. So it's it's very similar to what's what's in the neighborhood and, and the low pits in the neighborhood. Um, this particular lot is the curvature of the road as it approaches the cul-de-sac. The lot narrows. And when the house was positioned to face the road, it was set on an angle on the lot. So to, to place that garage at the end of the driveway puts us within the, the side setback area that, that you can see where the side setback comes in with 